Harry painfully awkward as William and the royal family block him from Royal Ascot. You have no right to be there. The British royals graced the second day of Royal Ascot with the presents, delighting fans and onlookers alike. Prince William in particular garnered much admiration for his dapper appearance, although his brother Prince Harry was noticeably absent. Prince William, the Prince of Wales, led the royal procession, entering the parade ring with a beaming smile. His carriage was the first to arrive, accompanied by Queen Camilla and the Earl and Countess of Halifax. The event also saw the attendance of Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, who were seen laughing and joking together. At one point, William and Beatrice playfully tugged on the tassels of Eugenie's hat, highlighting the close bond shared by the cousins. Eugenie's support for William dates back to a significant moment in the family's recent history. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Harry's controversial actions, including the release of the Netflix documentary in his memoir Spare, strained his relationships within the family. In particular, Eugenie took William's side, distancing herself from Harry, after he breached the trust by involving cameramen in forbidden situations. The rift became more evident when Eugenie didn't invite Harry to Portugal and ceased communication with him. This shift in alliances was underscored when Beatrice's stepson, Wolfie, developed a close bond with William's son, Louis. Furthermore, Eduardo Mapolimosi, Beatrice's husband, reportedly holds more sympathy for William than Harry. Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice's loyalty to William is also influenced by their awareness of the inner dynamics of the royal family, with information flowing through familial channels, including from King Charles. As a consequence, both sisters have taken a firm stance in support of William, avoiding any form of gossip with Harry and Meghan Markle. This allegiance was evident during a recent garden party where the sisters made it clear that they stood by William. The strained relations were further highlighted when Prince Harry, once close to Eugenie, found himself isolated. Despite their previous bond, Eugenie didn't inform Harry about crucial family matters, such as King Charles' health issues, which Harry had to learn from the press. This revelation undoubtedly added to Harry's feelings of alienation. Despite their alignment with William, the York sisters have managed to maintain a semblance of neutrality in the public eye, especially regarding the broader feud between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. Eugenie's continued cordiality with Harry and Meghan was evident when she visited their Montecito home in California and chatted with Harry during King Charles' coronation on May the 6th, 2023. Nonetheless, both Eugenie and Beatrice abstained from attending the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary service earlier this month, which Harry had returned to the UK for. Adding to the festive atmosphere at Royal Ascot were Zara and Mike Tyndall. The couple appeared in high spirits, enjoying each other's company. They were accompanied by Carol and Mike Middleton, parents of Princess of Wales, who made the first public appearance since Carol's cancer diagnosis. The Tyndall's presence, along with the Middletons, added a familiar touch to the event showcasing the unity and supportive spirit within the royal family. In summary, the second day of Royal Ascot highlighted both the unity and underlying tensions within the British royal family. While Prince William and his close relatives enjoyed the event, the absence and isolation of Prince Harry underscored the ongoing familial rifts.